The early mornings are always a little damp and a little cool in the Delta, even in late August. The thick, cool morning air is laced with a flavored scent that is almost intoxicating. It is the smell of the Delta, rich gumbo dirt mixed with honeysuckle, cotton plants, and kudzu vines. It embraces you. It envelops you. And yet, in a few hours, it will become so hot and humid that even the catfish in the ever-near Mississippi River will have to rest at the bottom of the riverbed just to stay cool. This sweltering heat will cause both man and beast alike to move about at a slow draw. But oddly enough, the acres of fluffy white cotton that dominates the Delta landscape literally abounds in this intense humidity and heat. It is the cotton and the river that brings life to this part of the world. It is from this life and this culture that the seeds of a new music were growing and would spring forth forever changing the fabric and structure of American society and the music of the modern day world. Memphis, Tennessee is known around the world as the birthplace of rock and roll, the home of Sun Records and Elvis Presley. But the story of rock and roll really begins across the river at a radio station seven miles west of Memphis. KWEM was a radio station in West Memphis, Arkansas. I'm Mitch McCracken, and west of Memphis is the story of KWEM and its influence on music for decades. While rock and roll may have been born in Memphis, the mother radio station of rock and roll was without a doubt KWIM, which became the doorway that led to Sun Records. I'll be talking about the artists who started there, like B.B. King, Howlin' Wolf, Johnny Cash, Albert King, and even Elvis Presley. They all performed live on KWIM before they had recording contracts. In fact, KWIM was the only radio station that Elvis performed live on in the Memphis area before or after his first record. You'll not only hear their versions, but also their songs by the artists they influenced. Our first song is by a blues artist and KWIM regular that may have been the one who started rock and roll on Memphis radio. But before we do that, let's take a listen to what radio sounded like back in the 50s. That's my rooster. Rooster, that is. Oh. What's the matter, Lizzie? You talking about that old mean thing in the backyard? You talking about Red? Yeah, I'm talking about Shut Red. Up, don't you call, shut up, don't you yes, call Paul. Red and mean. But Paul. Let me tell you about that rooster. Yes, Paul. I got a great big rooster. That was called the Rooster Song. And while that was playing on Memphis radio, across the river at KWAM, Howlin' Wolf was performing live on the air. Here's Howlin' Wolf doing his song, Little Red Rooster. <laughs> <laughs> 